Wednesday. Hello. Hello. Dirty Work Wednesday. Let's see Morning Zoo. Hi, I have a little problem. Must be out of your mind. Call 473 104.5. I almost didn't do it. I thought, is this in bad taste? But you know what? I went for it. I went for it, and I am so glad I did. What's the worst that could happen? Dirty Work Wednesday is on the air at 473 104.5. Hi, who's this? Uh, this is Colin. Hey, Colin. What can we do for you on this Dirty Work Wednesday? Uh, so I was hoping you guys could do a little detective work for me. Ah, okay. What exactly do you need us to detect? Uh, okay. So, uh, my wife, Angela, is a realtor. She, uh, she made this whole life decision last year to switch careers. So she took the classes and the tests and the stuff and started working for this agency selling houses. Okay. And you said her name was Angela? Yes, Angela. Okay. Continue. So when she first started, she was doing really well. Like, she sold a couple houses right away. Uh, then things kind of slowed down. And towards Christmas, she told me, you know, this is the slow season. Nobody brides around the holidays, and it won't pick up again until spring. Yeah, that makes sense, I guess. Okay, so the past month, she's been going out every Saturday, and she's been showing houses, which is no big deal. That's what realtors do. Right, the the, uh, the little open house thing. Right. So on Saturday night, I was at the place called The Gr- I mean, it's kind of a new brewery restaurant, and a buddy of mine asked me to go. I've been actually dying to try that place. How is it? Uh, I mean, it's good. Pretty normal brewery type place. Uh, but anyways, as I'm leaving, I pass this guy coming in, and he recognizes me, and he goes, you're Angela's husband. And I said, yeah. And he goes, uh, tell her that Don says hi. We all must are down at the office. And I'm like, oh, uh, did you work with her at Geico? Because that, that was her whole job before uh, uh, real, real estate. And he goes, no, it's realty. So now I'm thinking... Wait a minute, what does it mean we all miss her? Did, did she quit her job without telling me? Oh. Yeah, and then I'm like, well, if she quit her job, then why is she still getting dressed up every Saturday and going to show houses? Did you pass on the message to her, like, when you got home? Well, she was asleep when I got home, but the next morning I was like, I, I saw some guy named Don last night, and he told me to say hi and ask her how you were. She looks at me and goes, yeah, he used to work in our office, but he left. She said that? Yeah, looked me straight in the face. Looked you straight in the face and lied to you. I, I guess. I, I don't know what to think. So the question is, and you already brought this up, but if she's not working as a realtor anymore, and if she's not selling houses anymore, then why is she still getting dressed up and going out every Saturday? Yeah, that's, that's what I'd like to know. Yeah. Well, I mean, she could have left that agency and started selling independently. I mean, that's a possibility here. Does she still go into work every day, or do, do you see her leave the house? Well, I mean, I work earlier than she does, so I'm not around when she leaves. Maybe she quit, but she doesn't want you to think she's, like, not working or something. Maybe she's embarrassed. Well, how about when she leaves the house on Saturdays to go show houses? Are you home? Like, do you see her leave to go show them? Yeah, usually. Okay, well, does she look like someone who's going to show houses? Like, is she dressing, I guess, like business style? Or is she dressing casual or a little too sexy? Or It's definitely not casual. I, I, it's a mix between business and sexy. I, I mean, she wears dresses, and to me, that's sexy. But then again, she's my wife, so of course I think she's sexy. What about, okay, what about perfume? Like, is she putting on any kind of sexy smelling fragrance? Well, and it's kind of hard to tell because she's always got some kind of lotion or spray on her that smells good. She just naturally smells good. Okay. I'll tell you what. Why don't we call her and I'll pretend I want to sell my house. I'll say I got her number from a friend. Let's see what she says because she's either going to say, sure, I'd love to help you. Or she's going to say, I don't do that anymore. That might be a good first step. But listen, if she says, like, I'm not in real estate anymore, my recommendation to you would be you jump in immediately and go, well, then where the hell have you been going every Saturday? Kind of like catch her off guard. You want to try that? Uh, yeah, that sounds fun. Okay, sure. All right, well, let's call her when we come back. Bye. Hello? Yeah, hi. I'm trying to reach uh, Angela does this is this happen to be her number? Uh, yeah, this is Angela. Oh, great. So listen, I got your number from a friend of mine who used to work over at I'm trying to sell my condo, and he said you would be the person to call. Oh, you're trying to sell a condo? Yeah, I, I own a condo. I just, I'm getting married, and uh, we're moving into a house, so I was looking for someone to help me sell my condo. Well, um, I'm actually not in that line of work anymore, but I can definitely recommend a few people for you. 
Um, do you have a pen or something to write on? Sure. So, uh, so you said you don't sell condos or you don't do real estate? No, I'm not in real estate anymore. Um, I did it for a while, but I quit. Uh, okay, so then why are you still going out every Saturday telling me you're showing houses? Can you explain every Saturday if you're not selling houses anymore? I have been helping a former co-worker at my office. She's been doing multiple houses on the weekends, and she can't be in two places at once. So she pays me to show one house, I'll choose at the other one. But you just said you don't work for them anymore. Now I only do part-time work for them. So you still show houses on the weekend, but they're not your houses then? That is correct. Uh, Do you have any more questions for me now, or am I, like, free to leave the witness stand? Colin, do do you feel better now? Yeah, I just don't understand why you'd be going out every weekend if you didn't work for them anymore. Well, now you know. Okay, well, listen, uh, sorry to bother you, Angela, but you definitely helped answer the question on everybody's mind this morning. I'm glad I can help. Okay, well, thanks. Have a great day. Oh, okay. Wow, I guess uh, she was too busy to say goodbye. So, Colin, are you good with everything now? Yeah, I I guess so. Okay. Well, can I say something before we let him go? Sure. Okay, I'm not trying to start drama or anything. I swear, not doing that, but... I just, I don't believe her. Like, if I were you, I would try to follow her the next time she goes out to show houses. I, I think she explained it pretty well. I don't think so. I mean, first of all, she if if she's helping out a coworker, why didn't she, like, tell us which one? And also, if she's really going out every Saturday, how is this coworker having multiple open houses every single weekend during... Next us, you can call... 